Let's take a brief tour of the control panel for the basic edition. We log in and take a look around. There is a home button in the upper left corner, which leads to this page listing various functionalities and controls. There is a help button at the bottom. Here you can open and create help tickets. These links to various controls of the website. The home page, generic pages, events, links, videos, staff, photo albums, something called Capture, and the site info and design section. All these links are available from the menu list located on the upper right corner. First, let's take a look at the site info and design portion of the control panel. There is the website info and company info, a look and feel section dealing with themes, backgrounds, margins and fonts, header and navigation dealing with banner, navigation and logo, a contact us page which is currently set to do not display. And then there is a section dealing with analytics and social buttons. The website and company info section deals with information you set once and then sort of forget about it, such as the name of the website and the copyright statement. Same thing with the company info, where you can optionally add address information if you so choose. But the more interesting portion of this segment is the look and feel. Currently we have the theme set to muted blue, but it can be set to dark gray or light gray or frosty white or some other color. Let's revert to muted blue. We can also alter the corner radius of images, like these corners, by simply sliding this bar. You can upload a background, or remove it, or select a prefab background, or clear all backgrounds altogether. You can change the font type and size change the color of the text and the drop shadow, and also adjust the fuzziness of the drop shadow. Under the header and navigation section, we can upload and remove a banner image. If we do not have a banner image, we can simply adjust the font for the text in the banner. We can make adjustments to the navigation adjust its vertical and horizontal position, and change the type from buttons to bar of buttons, and set the size to either big or small. Sometimes changing the position of the navigation is a good idea, to make the page header look just right, and not too cramped. For example, if you put the logo on the left, perhaps you need to push the navigation in a bit. Making changes to the logo is very simple. We can change its position from the top left to top right, or bottom, or both. Adjusting the height of the logo and the height of the banner can help making more room. The button for the Contact Us page can be shown either on the top of the page in the navigation bar or the bottom of the page down in the page footer, or both. But more on this later. Click at the Analytics and Social buttons. Here you can paste the code from your Google Analytics account to keep track of visitation data. And for the Social Network buttons, I recommend opening an account with addthis.com 
and paste in the code for the social network buttons here. If you want to have smaller buttons for your mobile version of your website, you can copy and paste in the smaller buttons in this box here. Thank you for watching this brief tour of the control panel, and make sure to watch other video material as well, and order your website today.